So story number one that just broke earlier on today. Um, there's there was a mad, uh, you know, mad amount of people bickering online due to the whole Megan and Stallion Tory thing. Um, oh, the, this Danny Lee, is there a thing, Danny Lee? Danny Lee, have you pronounced her name? She came out with some song that she wants to put out that sounds like a little, f- a little flip or copy on the whole Playboy Carti baby voice thing. Right? Don't do you think so? Yellow bonus body loss. Yeah, no, but that's what he wants. She sounds a little bit like paper cut, but um, has there a bit like is there a word? I don't know. We don't really have it in in boy in boy language and in, in <laughs> around the lads, but there's definitely that thing where in your group of friends, there's a guy who kind of hooks up with a girl that's you know maybe a bit out of his league, and he starts acting a little bit too, yeah, he starts acting a little bit like his shit doesn't stink anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like b- b- before he was maybe batting against you know fives and f- uh, fives un- out of 10 and under and then suddenly he ends up you know hooking up with an eight out of 10 plus because she just loves him for, for, you know just one of those things um it happens and, and he just changes up his complete persona is there a thing for that in uh there must be something the word for it. i don't know what it is for for um women talk but she's definitely one of those people and she got hooked up with their baby and now she's like you really can't tell her shit anymore, and she loves being in a relationship with him. Again, it makes sense, isn't it? She's a young girl. He's like the hottest. He's hotter than fish grease, as they say. But God damn it, man, relaxing it. Anyway, so this kind of happened earlier on, didn't it? Right, Tory Lanez news came out. It was a bit again another example of blogs not being not doing their research and not following up on stories. So it somehow, I guess, because there was meant to be like a a development on the case between Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion in terms of what happens next going forward and because it wasn't an update on the docket of the case file on the website somewhere people was digging on in on um someone came to the conclusion one and one equals five in it and said the cow charges have been dropped which wasn't true it was mostly just a clerical error or just somebody not updating the file because it's covid and there's probably operating with limited amount of employees it's just it's easily explainable but for some reason you know social media got a hold of it and ran with it <coughs> um so obviously here they had the daystar peterson there's no criminal calendar pacific West criteria and then um somebody here tweeted today's story lane's called they there's no headlines seems megan got a new song to release ain't got a new song to release, so taking a piss and then somebody kind of jokingly it looks like with laughing emojis says all charges are drops right um and then i guess megan saw that and just went crazy right and decided to kind of go on the gram and basically launch into a tirade or sorry to a tirade of flipping uh statements out there in your ether. The first she says at this point i'm getting annoyed stop believing everything you read on the motherfucking internet imagine how i feel waking up every day seeing people lie and turn my trauma into a joke the whole team figures out ways to create doubt with my story every week and the media eats it up you know she's clearly had enough and is annoyed by the entire issue the next post is at this point yeah y'all can't tell when shit is fake news y'all still don't see an abuser picking with me the first court date got pushed back because of an inauguration but i can't wait until this motherfucking facts come out bitch you shot me and my story not changing and bitch you going to jail so she's directly going at tori and just basically saying look i'm gonna end your life i'm gonna bury you because you did wrong um and then tori i um, guess uh, dj academics updated it because he's spoken to tori i'm assuming so tori judges are haven't been dropped him nor his team has anything to do with the confusion of people thinking they were court rescheduled cases that had a hearing date of the 20th so that was the, the yesterday because the inauguration date due to the clerical area it appeared like it was dropped so an easy thing to kind of um figure out right oh, let's go back i don't want to hear who that is who's this so let's go um go back so this is all the again just you don't really understand why she decides to come out and say these kind of things on it really but i guess i can explain a bit that again then she there's another statement she puts out here someone says i'm sorry meg but how long are you going to keep bringing this up she says are you living under a rock you think i brought it up today and if i want to keep talking about it me getting shot can't i the fuck she says you also believe black women and protect black women online but when it literally say i got shot it's confusing how the fuck i get shot and now i'm the world's biggest motherfucking villain now keep that mind that status in mind that kind of line in mind because it's very um illuminating into why this actually happened she says all you pussy ass niggas are gonna pick me hoes are gonna eat your motherfucking words so she's adamant in the fact that this happened and when the court does adjourn 
or when the DNA the is in mind that they come to decision, she's going to be proven correct in her statement. That's what she's basically alleging. Um, and that was it. So odd one, isn't it, right? All things considering. Very, very strange kind of um, behavior you would think from somebody that was a shooting victim. But what it kind of springs to mind is it's really an odd situation if you think about it because it's possibly... What happened there? Oh. Okay. Let's go. I don't know, why does it do this sometimes? It does this all the time. The hotkeys won't work. I don't understand why it does this. Can somebody explain? Can somebody explain? Hmm. <laughs> okay, so anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. So as I was saying, it might be one of the most interesting or confusing things to kind of think about, right? In terms of shootings. Because usually if, some, if this happened to anybody else, you'd imagine the outpouring of support and the assumption of believability would would usually side on the case of the woman right in this in this scenario regardless of what the what caused the shooting right no one will ever gonna come stick their neck out there and say hey this this um i don't see this story as true but for some reason um maybe due to how the story developed and the people involved and uh, her actions after the fact it's really kind of turned into one of these cases where people i feel like are using it as an opportunity to show that sometimes this whole like believe all women thing can be a bit dangerous and unfortunately megan Stalin is having to bear the brunt of it because again on her side she just didn't deal with it correctly um I, I, like i don't i'm really confused as to why this was even brought up to the public like why were we even given an opportunity to have an opinion on this because of course she kind of you know messed up by deciding to go out online and talk about it on instagram live and stuff directly after it happened and you basically use it as opportunity to springboard and promote her music um talk about advocating for black women and obviously it tied in neatly to the brianna taylor case tragic case that happened at the time it just felt a little bit opportunistic it didn't feel like it was coming from a real place right even if the story was completely true it just felt weird that might explain the reason why people kind of turned off it because i just don't understand how this person who was hot girl summer the one that everyone was kind of promoting as like oh look she's hot and she dresses scantily and she's also big in her education you know um she gets back to the community all this sort of stuff she's never involved in drama do you remember there was a time when megan was like heralded as a girl that was always kind of like playing both sides really well she never got caught in the whole you know nikki versus cardi beef she was very politically kind of correct in how she conducted herself and then suddenly out of nowhere she turns into like the pariah of everybody you go through some of the comments on all these blog pages right and the, the opinion is really split 50 50 some people think she made up the story some people are saying that you know tori is cancelled and she don't know what he's still got a career but it, it's not really how you would expect it to be it's not like a 90 percent you know people siding on her side it's more so people decide thinking you know what there's something fishy so holds this story and i think the thing to point out is that statement that she made about her thinking why am i the motherfucking villain and i think that's her main issue she's so convinced or so kind of um what do you call it she's so perturbed and bothered that the social media people on social media don't believe her and that's the one thing that's really riling her more so than getting this done and sorted in the courts and having it move on she's really upset that people on social are the ones that don't believe her when really that's not the that shouldn't be your key demographic you should probably be concentrating on making sure you get your story straight and the courts believe you so that they can get on your side and you can basically close this chapter for good um so again very very strange very bizarre situation all things included i'm not really sure how this really ends successfully for both people i think of course if tori get, ends up getting found guilty I don't I just don't believe you get cancelled I think there's something weird about people in hip-hop and stuff like this it just doesn't you know like look look how long it took uh, Kelly to finally come to justice it's just something that doesn't really occur too often in hip-hop like he might have to sit down a bit and maybe lay low but then he can pop back up again and go back on tour he'll be fine um if Megan is found out to be a liar or that she maybe misremembered the actual um you know uh 
things that led up to the shooting. I don't think that will damage her, um, you know, her ability to make music and perform. I still think that would be okay. It might, you know, sully her reputation in some people's eyes, but I think in general, they'll be able to still spin it as something else. So it's a real messy situation. It's gone on far too long. Way too many people are involved now. People that probably shouldn't be involved in it. And effectively, they've given a voice to literally everybody, myself included, to have an opinion on something that they probably shouldn't have done. They probably should have dealt with this behind the scenes privately or straight via the courts without doing all these public statements and stuff. Because in the end, in the short term, in the short to medium term, it hasn't benefited either of these people, right? I think Tory's looks a bit funny style, the way he's conducted himself and the music he's put out and he, how he's kind of, I don't know, I wouldn't say dismissed, but how he's sort of been a bit, because I, I guess in his eyes, he thinks he's guilty, he's, he's innocent. So if he's innocent, why shouldn't he move the way he's moving? But, you know, some people don't like it and the Megan stuff, some people didn't like the way she was moving. She was out in the club twerking soon after getting shot. It's just, it's just a whole bunch of madness, man. It's a whole bunch of madness. Hopefully they sort it out. If they don't, I guess it is what it is.